Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day and you're staying sane. Um, today I'm going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing and I'm going to show you a little haul. I kind of... I think I made in total like three purchases at Ulta. They were all kind of small so it's not a big haul or whatever but kind of just wanted to show you like what I got and yeah. Also, really sorry, the boxy charm is coming up super late. I didn't get this box until last week. Today is the 23rd. I didn't get it until last Friday, and I already have videos for this week planned. So this is uh, this is a really late box. Uh, thank you to you know being in a pandemic and it being Christmas time. Just couldn't avoid delays. So yeah. Let's just get on into this. So I'm going to start off with what I got from Ulta. I got a couple of things. First, I got these clips from Riviera. Um, I don't know why, but I've always like wanted these jumbo clips, like always, but I've never like found any that like are big enough or look good enough. So um, yeah, I saw these on Ulta's app and I was like, well, I might as well give them a go. I have this a weird like bun ponytail situation thing going on, but it's holding my hair back, which is simply all I needed. I wanted to put my hair back without putting in a bun because it like ruins my ends. So yeah, these are really nice. Um, I'm on my last setting spray, so I went ahead and bought another. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Uh, I did not expect it to be this small. It's only 2.03 fluid ounces. This other one I have, this is six fluid ounces. So I don't know. I just, this is why I don't purchase setting sprays from uh, the drugstore because they're typically super small. And I don't know why I go through setting spray pretty quickly. I guess not now since I'm not like going out and wearing makeup, but yeah, I'm kind of irritated that it is so small, but we'll see if it's good or not. Uh, next, I got this Freeman Gentle Exfoliating Lactic Acid Plus Vitamin E Sensitive Skin Almond Milk Peel. I really don't feel like it needed all that, but okay. Um, I simply just got this because um, it was 99 cents. I don't know, it probably won't do much, but hey, I figured it was worth a go. Uh, Gus actually got into it, and there's like bite marks and claw marks, so that's fun. He didn't pierce it though, so he's okay. Um, I'm running low on setting powders, so I wanted to try the LA Girl Pro Powder HD High Definition Setting Powder in Translucent. Uh, I don't know what happened here on the packaging, but it looks real scuffed, okay? Real scuffed. And it's like really small. How much powder is this? This isn't even a whole ounce, so that's kind of irritating, but whatever. Um, I probably should have just went to Target and got Cody Airspun, but whatever. Uh, and then I wanted to try a new foundation. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation in Light 50W. Um, I've been really more into the hydrating foundations. I used to be like, only matte. Only matte will work for me. I'm oily. But the truth is I'm combination and I lean more dry, especially during the winter months. As you can see, I've got some situations underneath my nose. My husband's home. You made it home! There was a snow today and it was real bad. I'm in my office. Yeah. The door's open though because Gus was screaming at me. And I'm back. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation in Light 50W. I have no idea if this is um, gonna be my shade or not. Um, uh, uh, yeah. It, uh, yeah. 
I don't know. I'll have to, I'll, I'll put it on today, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyways, so it's ideal for all skin types. It's supposed to have hyaluronic acid. Uh, it's supposed to hydrate, support healthy looking skin. It has coconut water. I wish it didn't have coconut because I feel like coconut just clogs my pores. So, and it's supposed to be medium buildable coverage for natural healthy looking skin. We will see about that. Next, I restocked on my Kiss Little Black Dress Lashes. These are my favorites. Um, Okay, this is the Vanilla Co. Deer Hydration Toner. I didn't realize this was a Korean brand. I've never heard of them. Uh, you put it on before makeup. Oh, okay. That's all it says in English, I think. Oh, no, here's the English side. Um, it's a moisture charging toner to hydrate skin with fermented lotus flower water removing skin impurities and creating a dewy glowing complexion. It's dermatologist tested. Interesting. I really like the packaging on this. This is like a hard plastic and it's like this purple pinky color. It, I, I like it, I, I like it. I know that's so dumb, but I just, I like it. Last, I got these Pacifica Glowing Glycolic Acid Orange and Vanilla Makeup Removing Wipes. I'm curious what these smell like. They had a deal where you could like buy one and get one like half off. It smells like, like a creamsicle. That's what it smells like. That's yummy. I don't like creamsicles though, cause uh, yeah, anyways. All right, now let's open my December Boxy Charm. And I have already seen what was in here because I really wanted to get certain stuff, but um, I didn't get what I wanted. So this month's theme was Bubbles and Glitz. First, we have the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I didn't really need another hydrating primer, but whatever. It's for all skin types. It has kombucha, ginger, and prebiotic. It's supposed to brighten, nourish, and hydrate. Is this a primer or a moisturizer? Because it says apply every morning to cleanse skin if contact with eye. Apply every morning to cleanse skin. That sounds like a moisturizer to me. I'm confused, but okay. Okay, so this is the bottle that it comes in. No, I've seen people use it as a primer, so this is weird. It's like a squeezy thing and I can't like, oh, oh, I don't think I would use that as a normal moisturizer. It looks like it has like, oh, that smells like the spot. It looks like it has like shimmer in it kind of, I don't know, you probably can't tell but I just think it's just too glowy to put all over the face and then just go out without putting anything on top. So I will use this as a primer. It says, reveal a soft lip from within glow with this illuminating prebiotic moisturizer. So it's, a, what is it? The lightweight multi-use formula leaves skin hydrated while blurring the look of imperfections. It can also be used as a primer underneath makeup or applied as a highlighter to enhance the skin's radiance. I'm just going to use it as a primer. Um, but you'll never guess the price. Did you guess $49? Well, bingo, you were right. This, this guy, why is it $49? That's crazy. Anyways, moving on. Next, I have the Eloise Get Lit Metallic Foil Liquid Eyeshadow in Pure Gold. I feel like this really goes along with the theme. Well, I guess this one does too, since it's about glow. And I just feel like this is supposed to be very glowy and sparkly. And 
I don't know. Anyways, I just feel like this one goes with the theme. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's almost like I have this in a crayon form and a pop form that are both in my panning goals for this year. So this looks exactly like the hourglass pot that I got in BoxyCharm uh, that I am trying to use up this year. And this will probably also end up being wanted to use up because I just, I don't use products like this often. And I just keep getting these basic shades, like, I don't know. I'm just, it's pretty, it looks nice. I'm just not impressed, to say the least. Enrich your lids and get lit with Eloise's luxurious long-wearing metallic foiled liquid eyeshadow with the perfect blend of metallic and glitter reflex. Create or transform any look from subtle to intense. So this little guy is $26. Next I have a MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in Pretty Boy. Now, I don't know. I, like I've said before, I really don't do bullet lipsticks because they don't like wear well on my dry lips. Should I give it a try? I can't, I really, I kind of want to give it a try. Screw it. Oh. Oh no. I'm not going to like this. Um. So this is a, like a pinky red. It's very creamy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Meet Matte Lipstick, the iconic product that has made MAC famous. This creamy, balmy formula features a comforting feel, medium buildable coverage, and a semi-glossy finish. And it MSRPs for $19. This is the Glamnetic Lash in Baby Girl and the Glamnetic Liquid Magnet Eyeliner. Um, this is what the lashes look like up close. I hope you can see that. Get ready to be spoiled. The Baby Girl is a wispy round lash that looks natural on the eye and feels super lightweight. It's made from high quality, 100% vegan synthetic fiber and comes with a pair of lash anchors that help strengthen the hold and keep them in place. The Glamnetic Magnet Eyeliner is the magic that holds your fave Glamnetic lashes in place all day. The innovative formula is highly pigmented requires minimal waiting time and provides all day hold. The liner and the lashes together are $63. But what if the lashes are too big? Can you cut them? Can you trim them? Can you use them multiple times? Oh, you can cut them. Okay. Oh, and you can reuse them. You have to clean the magnets by gently scratching off dried magnetic liner. Huh, very interesting. Lastly, I have an eyeshadow palette. It is the Artist Couture Caliente palette. And I saw sneak peeks of this palette and I was just like, I really don't need this palette in my life. Get, 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 get. <sighs> hey queens, uh, you're probably wondering, Bailey, why are you wearing a different shirt? Well, see, I was filming yesterday and deleted a portion of the video. So here we are the next morning. I have an evening shift tonight. So I have a little bit of time to get this done, get some other stuff done. So let, let's just get into this. I kind of... I don't even know where I left. I think I left off with unboxing my BoxyCharm. So we're just going to get started on the makeup. So I'm going to first go in with the LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. Um, oh. Uh, I did end up doing my makeup last night. 
and I don't know how I feel about it. It's different to some looks I've done before. And honestly, it's not that crazy. It's just different to me. I don't know. But this year, I think I really, really, really want to do makeup trends that I just haven't done because I've been too scared to. And honestly, I need to cut that crap out. I really do. Okay, so it adds a tiny bit of glow to the face. Um, it doesn't feel tacky. I don't know. It's a weird primer. I don't know. I, it's a primer. So I'm going to go with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. Two pumps. Um, I don't know how I feel about this foundation yet. I've only officially worn it once. And this is my second time. Um, the coverage, it's... Yeah, I guess it would be like a medium, but you have to like use a lot of foundation. Like that was two pumps and it hardly covered my cheeks. So yeah. And I spot conceal anyways. So it doesn't need to be full coverage. I just need it to make the rest of my face look even. And then I'll go in with a concealer and spot conceal. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my cheeks. This coverage isn't all that great, um, but it's fine. This is probably something I will use in the summertime because my skin is better in the summertime. It Did I just crack my voice? Anyways, in the summertime, for whatever reason, my skin is just a lot better. It's not super dry because I'm sweating all the time and I don't have weird seasonal patches on my face. Like I have this weird seasonal patch like underneath my nose that I always get during the winter. So yeah, I think my skin's just better in the summertime, so. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Powder that I bought from Ulta. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and ruin this for you but I actually really like this powder. Um, it comes out of the packaging really fast, so that's interesting. And it kind of smells weird, but oh man, the way it makes my skin look is just so good. It's such a soft powder. Like, it is finely milled honey. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Just gonna buff out my fine lines and go in, going in. My skin just looks so smooth. Oh, I, I'm in love. And you know, I think I was kind of pooping on it at first, you know, in the haul portion of this video. But man, this is some good stuff. This is definitely gonna be a product that I repurchase. I love it. But I am kind of afraid that it has a white cast to it. So guess who won't be taking pictures in this uh, powder? Me. <laughs> I think if I ever expect to take pictures, I always use a powder that's got pigment in it anyways because the chances are of getting flashback is basically impossible. So I didn't get a new bronzer, blush, or highlight, so I'm gonna go do that off camera real quick. All right, now that I have bronzer and blush on, I like to set my face with setting spray, so I'm gonna go with the Milani Make It Last. 
sorry it snowed so now there's like trucks with you know big things on the front of them going down all the streets so that's fun mm. i love the smell of it i can't tell you what it smells like because i i don't know how to describe it i love the way it sprays it's like I don't know, it just feels good. It feels good. I like it a lot. See, this is the problem with the powder. For whatever reason on this eye, I feel like the powder like comes back up to haunt me. And I gotta whisk it away. But it's only on my eyes, so that's so weird. I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, now we're down to the palette. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Why is this so hard to open for me? Um, I don't, I, I, I don't know what I want to do. I feel like this brown is so out of place. Like, I guess you could use it for the yellow, but I just, I don't know. Um, let's see. I, the hot pink is kind of calling to me, so I'm going to go into that and, like, just chunk it in my crease. Oh my, oh wow, okay, 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 okay. Ah, that is super pigmented. A lot more pigmented than I expected it to be. And there is fallout every everywhere, so that's fun. I didn't put any bake on. Great. Okay, just trying to blend it out a little bit. Okay, but see, when you blend it out, it like shears out, and I don't like that. Like, keep the pigment there. Yeah, no. So I'm just gonna touch it. Yeah, oh, this is not good. This is not good, artist couture. Okay, all right. I need to <laughs> brush this away so it doesn't like settle. Okay, it kind of did, whatever. This is so powdery, look at that. That is so ridiculous. Like, I have no problem with fallout. I have said that throughout my channel. But this is kind of, this is kind of cray cray. I've never like seen a palette this uh, fallouty. And yes, it is a word, I coined it myself. Okay, I'm gonna go in the yellow shade and put it on the edges of that pink shade for a like strawberry lemonade kind of moment. Wow, this yellow is a lot more pigmented than I thought it would be. And it's not blending away. So that's cool. I don't know if they're like really like blending in together though. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go back in with the pink. How do people make looks with this palette? Like, this is not cute. I hate this so much. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go into this deep pink and put it in my outer corner. Come through, please. I feel like these shades just aren't layering up well. And the thing is, I've seen people create looks with this palette, so I don't know why I'm struggling. Okay, um, so I am gonna use the metallic shadow, but I do wanna see what the metallics in this palette can do. So I'm gonna try one of them, and we're gonna see if it's really that good or if it's really a uh, body um since the shadow the this is kind of more gold i think i'm gonna go into this shade and i am gonna spray my brush just because these shadows are just so dry so maybe i'm like cheating for the shade but we'll see um
I'm like not hardly getting any on there. Maybe I should have tried it dry. <laughs> like my brush isn't picking it up. <laughs> oh no. Let's let's try another brush and see how that works. Uh, okay, so it works better dry. That's weird. I have never seen that with a metallic shade and I just got some in the wrong place. Oh, cool. Dude, even the metallics have fallout. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and like, the metallic is not layering over this mat. Like, it's just not happening. Okay, whatever. I give up on that. Let's just go into this metallic shadow. Wow, that is pigmented. This is what saves the look. Holy cow. So good, wow. With the right shadows, you can create a really beautiful look with this. Wow. And normally I am not a cream shadow person, but like, that is just so good. It's seriously metallic. Like, that is so intense. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I like hate this so much. Ugh. All right, so I need to do the bottom lash line and it's gonna suck. I'm just gonna take these two shades on my bottom lash line. I'm not gonna worry about the deeper pink because honey didn't really show up anyways, so. Oh wow, this is just, it's so powdery that it's like not doing what I want it to. And I'm having to drag it down lower than what I wanted. That is so annoying. Okay, now that I look like a firebird, let me go put some other crap on. All right, and I'm back with my brows and my mascara on. So now we're gonna go into the Glamnetic Liner and Lashes. So let's get this liner out. What kind of brush is this? I'm so scared. I'm not good at liquid liner. Oh, that's a really nice brush, okay. I'm more of a felt tip kind of gal. I don't know, I feel like I get more like control. I don't know. All right, so how do you can? Uh, oh, whoa! It's got a like magnet strip, and so it just that is so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Are these gonna be okay? Lengthwise. Um, I think I'm gonna cut off just a little bit. I'm gonna cut off the first chunk on this. Okay, okay. We're going, we're going, oh my God. And, yep, okay. I'm just not good at this. It's gonna be a thick line. I probably, I don't know, I like to put on mascara before lashes, but this is kind of like, getting in the way my lashes are <laughs> um, do you let the liner dry I don't know I'm just gonna go all the way in okay 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 it needs to be dry so I'm just gonna oh my god here we go here we go here we go what the heck oh my god it's like on there okay I still need to use tweezers to like them down a little bit. Come on, work with me girl. Mm -hmm. 
my outer corner isn't right on my lash line, but whatever. Oh gosh, this look. I thought these lashes were gonna save it, but they did not. Can I like redo it? Oh. It just literally took everything off. What the heck? Oh my God, this whole video. <gasps> Ow. I just want to cry, what the heck? I just wanted to sit down and make a video and then Boxy Charm like ruined it. Okay, whatever, let's just try this again. I'm just gonna try it again. We're gonna get through this. I don't think I made it thick enough on the outside. I think that's what the problem was. Oh my god, it's literally the inner corner of this lash. Like, my lashes just aren't blending with it. Whatever. Okay, we need to go on to the other eye. I'm... <sighs> okay, I need to cut this one down. Like, it's such a cool concept, but, like, I'm struggling. And I feel like everyone else has had such good luck with these. And I don't understand why. Why am I the one who can't get it together? The thing with this lipstick is that it's sheer. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, um, yeah, I'm gonna take this lip liner in Cozy Kira by Beauty Vault and I'm gonna put it all over my lip. Now I'm afraid that this lip liner was too dark. So that's fun. All right, let's just see. I should have gone with a more of a nude. I'm really having to layer this lipstick on. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It kind of gave the brown more of a red tint and it made it less dry. So that, it's not bad. I hate this look so much. Ah! This was absolutely a train wreck. This is why I deleted the footage last night because I knew I just, I knew subconsciously that this box was gonna be actual garbage. Um, yeah, so the products that I bought ended up working out really well. I love the products that I bought. Did I like anything? I didn't like the palette. The lashes, cool concept. It didn't work for me. For me, it's easy for me to chuck on a little black dress lash with some glue. That's easy peasy for me, not a problem. This. This was a problem. And like, there's this big gap between my, ugh. Anyways, oh, I didn't mean to kick you. Oh my God, I don't know if you're like, okay. Um, the priming moisturizer was okay. It's not life-changing. It's not incredible. The MAC lipstick, I'm just gonna keep layering it over lip liner and hope that it looks good. Uh, the metallic shadow, that was the one thing that was it for me. And I am not a cream shadow kind of person, but that one, that one's good. That one is so good. I liked one out of the five products. One was meh, but like three products were just a big no for me. A big no. Ooh. I hate this. I hate it so much. <sighs> they can't all be winners, can they? Okay. Let's just end this train wreck. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. I promise not all my videos are like this. Uh, but... If you did like this, maybe I'll have more chaotic videos. I don't know. 
Uh, gosh. Oh no. <laughs> I want to cry. Anyways, I need the I need to go. I got things to do. So, um, y'all have a good one now. Bye.